the artist. Ah, that was it. Come on, John. <laughs> Porcupine, I presume it's yes. a, Why is it wearing a little... I don't know. Porcupine is a symbol of peace, I believe. Or war. No, I've forgotten, though. But the hare and the porcupine are images of peace and war. Mm -hmm. And I, I suspect now that the porcupine is a symbol of war, and therefore I put a daisy chain around its head to kind of soften that. It actually says a plague on both your houses. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, But I mean, there's no kind of clear meanings. I've just kind of thrown some stuff together, you know. Um, I mean, really, it, it's a sort of, it's, it's, it's like a demonstration or, or beach party. Before, before the, they said before the rain, but uh, or before the nuclear event, you know. So it's, it's, it represents some sort of chaos, yeah. And some foolishness, like, like, the, like the, the blind man with the, the torch, yeah, you know. Because this character over here appears in one of your other That's right. Paintings. Well, I did that, and then I thought I could do a bigger one, yeah. Yeah. Bit, yeah. yeah. Uh, that is remarkably silly. Yes. Well, it's a silly thing to do. Isn't it? It's all a bit silly, isn't it? Look at this. Yes, sir. Yes, and he's got his hands stuck in his ear. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yep. A word in your and, shell. And, and that, that image with the hands in the head is the same image here, with the hands on the globe, ah, which is a kind of screaming yeah. I mean, I did the banners in the 70s, and I did some banners in the 80s, and I also, with this painting, kind of saw the banner, the demonstration as a kind of carnival. So it's a kind of carnival moving through. Mm. Or, or like Goya's Easter, you know, Goya's Easter with a big banner, yeah. with a, that crazy smiling face on. Yeah. I'll have to look that up now to see which, which is peace and war. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's before the rain. This is after the rain. So this is this is the flood, the deluge, yeah. and ship of fools. But as I say, at the same time as the Falklands or similar mm. time. Mm. Yeah. I do have self-portraits in that side, that's a self-portrait. Yeah. That's a self-portrait all in the barn. Yeah. 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 Did you paint this one afterwards? Yes, that, that yes, that's right. Yeah. 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 
Well, it's a bit looser. Yes, I noticed. Uh, and, and it's a bit more kind of grotesque, yeah, simply less, less sort of representational. What were you saying about women? Well, I mean, a lot of the images are negative about men, about what people do, about folly and stuff. So painting a woman and make her look foolish is, is, is something that I wouldn't want to do. I mean, so it's hard to have positive images of women. In, in the banner over here, yeah, that, that, that was a very clear positive image of a, of a woman, yeah? And, uh, but, but it's hard, yeah? Because most of my images are not positive in that sense, you know? It's, 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 I think it's easier to paint a picture that is critical than uh, the, the one that's kind of uh, optimistic. It's easier to do a pessimism than optimism, or, or rather to, to have something that's ambivalent and it celebrates, but it's also critical. So there's that woman over there, which I don't think was very successful. And then it's also, I kind of have difficulty in sexualizing women. Because you just play that game of kind of making them trivial. Whilst, whilst the same doesn't happen with, with the male figures. But this has got the direct historical yeah. parallel, which is, uh, which is Uccello's Battle of San Romano. So, so it's based on the riots in London. And this is my Battle of San Romano. And, and the horses, Uccello, and all the representing lots of figures by, you know, just putting fig behind each other. The, the famous foreshortened man, yeah, in, in, probably drunk in this, in this case. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and of course everything tipped up, and the horizon going right, right up, as, as in, you know, the, in the Uccello painting. Yeah. Fred pointed out that people talk about the, the black policeman, which is, you know, a positive image, obviously, but um, a, maybe a fairly rare one in, in the 80s. You know. But uh, something kind of slightly strange. But nobody talks about the guy flying with wings in the air as, as something particularly strange. Or the monk head, you know, on, on top of the bus stop, you know. Or the, or the kind of guy pulling the television on wheels. Those are, those are not seen as. Kind of. I mean, but, but of course the guy flat is a, is a painting device, you know. Or the kind of dog that, that, is, that sort of represents a sort of lion, you know. Yeah. But then there's a bloody chicken, you know. Yes, <laughs> yes, you know, I mean, yes. Yeah. Did you just add these characters uh, one oh, after the I'm other? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Then. You didn't sketch them out beforehand? Oh, yes, of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the drawings. And there's organising the composition, obviously, you know.